One of the most popular series on HBO has to be Succession. And with two seasons under its belt, we're bound to see yet another season of the show with much more exciting news about it and more plot twists than we can all imagine. But before we go on and think of what is coming, today we're going to take a look behind the scenes of the series and share some details about it. Enjoy! This is the day his reign ends. Real Life Inspiration The series seems like it has it all figured out, but how exactly did they manage to do that? Well, when we look at how things are turning out during the first two seasons, many will point out that the show might be loosely based on the Murdoch family and all of those people will not be wrong, or not entirely. Because just like the Roy family in succession, the Murdoch family is also a family behind a groundbreaking media empire, a founding CEO in his 80s who refuses to retire, the similarities are there. So you don't have to go very far to see where the series is taking hints from, right? Just like Logan Roy, Robert Murdoch is the man behind mass media and publishing company News Corp. Over the years, he has involved all four of his children in the company's various holdings. At 90 years old, he still remains the executive chairman, yet to pass on the reins to the next one in line. However, the Murdochs are not the only one the series have taken inspiration from. They've reportedly also looked up to the Redstones and the Hearst's families, with both of them being behind giant media conglomerates. Kieran Culkin When asked to join the show, Kieran Culkin was called to audition for the role of Cousin Greg, which to us just feels wrong. Luckily, he immediately realized that the role of the youngest family member, Roman Roy, was just perfect for him, which according to him, there were two things that felt like he was the one to play Roman, him being kind of horrible, and his particularly strange voice sharing his thoughts for PBS series Actors on Actors. However, the audition for Roman has already closed, but he was brave enough to send a tape anyway, and the producers agreed with him, realizing that they have found their Roman. Kieran said that there was something that clicked between him and Roman, something he still doesn't understand, something he doesn't want to understand, knowing what kind of a guy Roman is. And while we're at the topic of perfect casting for the series, Nicholas Brown, who ultimately landed the role of Cousin Greg, is most likely the closest an actor would have gotten to the character he's portraying. That's out of all other cast members of the series itself. While he has been acting his whole life, Culkin said that Succession is the show that has proven to him that he wants to be an actor. Other Unlikely Auditions Culkin is not the only cast member whose audition didn't quite go as planned. Alan Ruck, who portrays the role of Connor Roy, almost missed his audition altogether. Home for the first time with his family in a while, he felt like he couldn't abandon his family's commitments, so he took his son to music class instead. Not a lot of actors would make that call, right? However, Ruck proved to everyone that doing the right almost always pays off. He came out of his son's class to find seven phone messages telling him to just go to Adam McKay's house. So he went, and as he says it, he had an off-the-cuff audition for Adam in his home nonetheless, and that's the type of an audition that got him the role of Connor, which he received hours later the same day. On the other hand, Jeremy Strong, who had previously worked with McKay on the Oscar-winning movie The Big Short, heard about the show while having lunch at Adam's house, who asked him to read the script and see who he connects with. So according to Strong, the main thing to take from all this is that you should go to Adam's house and opportunities will rain down on you, he joked in public. Fun fact, in real life, Ruck is only 10 years younger than Brian Cox, the man who plays his father while Ruck's character is 10 years younger than the actor himself, while Cox's Logan is 10 years older than himself in real life. As for Sarah Snook, portraying the role of Shibon Roy, aka Shiv Roy, she was so certain that she'll not get the part, she was not even nervous when she auditioned for the role, telling herself that this is going to be a short free trip to LA for a weekend, and seeing her friends, however, this trip turned to more than just that. Making it up. Of course, there's a script for the show. There wouldn't be one in the first place if there wasn't. However, sometimes there's no plan at all. The actors of Succession have all shared the same detail, them being encouraged to take their own initiative. In fact, Kendall's bathroom breakdown after he finds out he's not taking over the company right away was entirely improvised. Actor Jeremy Strong simply followed his instincts, making a mess in the bathroom, breaking it all up, then cleaning up the whole mess. This seems to be the mantra of the show. As Jesse Armstrong told BAFTA Guru, 
Whenever you're doing a scene, there's a script, but there's also a room left out in it for the actor to express himself the best way possible. Do the whole scene without too many rehearsals, leaving just enough space for the individual's own instinct to take over. The way of shooting, he has loved from his first project ever, an unusual way of shooting that allows the cast to be more comedic, allowing this kind of a drama series like Succession to work very well. Too Compelling Brian Cox's character, Logan Roy, was originally meant to be killed off in the first season of the show, that way leaving his family to battle it out over who's gonna become his successor, the heir to the family business. And Cox was fine with that, but after chatting with Armstrong and McKay about the lifespan of his character, the two decided to save his life with the reason behind this alternation being that his character was just too compelling to lose. Apparently, Cox fought for the character and for Logan having similar roots to his own, Hailing from his own birthplace of Dundee, Scotland, the writers of the show added his idea to the show in the ninth episode of the first season, a backstory that was purely a surprise for him as he did not know that his idea was actually accepted. In the second season of the show, the story of it actually explores this part of the story with Cox traveling home to Dundee with the other cast members to record two episodes. Such a special way for an individual to be portraying one character that was meant to be killed off way before even developing a backstory in the first place. Drama Meets Comedy So why is Succession, which won an Emmy for an outstanding drama series, so connected to the world of comedy? Well, put it in short, one of the executive producers of the series is none other than Hollywood funny man Will Ferrell. Together with Adam McKay, they produced such comedies as the Anchorman movies and Talagetta Nights, so how did this corporation come to be? The duo met when they were hired on a Saturday Night Live on the same day and later formed a production company called Gary Sanchez Productions. While they mutually decided to fold the company back in 2019, the two remain close friends to this day, working together on yet another big thing, Succession. On a related note, tell us down in the comments below what are your thoughts on the series so far and what has been your favorite element about it. And also don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.